stream started in a minute. Oh, well, technically it already started. <laughs> Decided I should probably wipe this table down. Okay, we're about ready to get started here. The water is boiled. So let's see. Got to get this shared to the medias. I'm here just getting ready. I'll probably edit this <laughs> out when I post the actual video. Hello, thank you for joining my one single viewer. My most dedicated fan on both YouTube and Twitch. I'm going to be back. I need to put the water in the noodles because I don't want to carry the water downstairs again. I probably should have put a little more water, but I figure I can just stir it once uh, the noodles are soft. Usually takes about three minutes. So it's kind of where we're at for now. <sighs> I know this is the most exciting stream. I should have waited a little longer and just cooked it first. I feel like that works a little bit better, but whatever, it's not that bad. So as far as I can tell, 
This one is called Smoky and Spicy SIO. Um, so I'm not exactly sure what the flavor is, but it uh, has olive oil in the little packet from what I can understand. And it's like, I don't know. I can kind of show it inside a little. It's like difficult to do this because <laughs> I, my perception is backwards. There's an LQ on these videos for a reason. <laughs> uh, I could probably put more effort in and make them a lot better, but I'm just doing it for fun anyways. So it's whatever it ends up being, I guess. So I just looked on there, and um, hopefully they refill it. But from what I could tell, um, the 10-pack of ramen that I got with the 10 different flavors is no longer being sold. So I don't know if it was just like a 50th, 50th anniversary for Nissan or what it was all about. But as far as I can tell, you cannot buy it anymore currently. You can still get these flavors separately, I'm pretty sure, for a lot of them, um, which I'm hoping they have the spicy tonkatsu at the Asian market because I actually reviewed another noodle that I don't have a video, video for because of technical difficulties, and so I'm going to have to get that one again to do the video. But uh, so far, that was my favorite flavor spicy tonkatsu although it has this chili oil and i honestly recommend not putting this chili oil in thank you i think they're pretty cool i think they're just from amazon or something we've had them for a while let's see how long we've we been going for nine minutes although the noodles have not been cooking that long but probably long enough to stir them a little so I think this is like olive oil packet that they give you on the top. And there is actually like a little cat. The thing, like I said in the other videos, is these cups are like a lot more sturdy than the normal cup of noodle. Cup noodle. Um, and the top lid is actually made out of it's aluminum, so it's actually not. Um, it's not the crappy plastic that's usually on the American ones. A little bit better than that. It should be ready here in a little bit. We're just going to have to wait a slightly longer than otherwise because I put a little bit let a little bit too little water not enough water so i had to stir it to get the other stuff cooked so hopefully it's okay um it didn't smell that great just going in but so hopefully it tastes better than it smells i almost kind of wonder if it's going to be like an italian pasta flavor but i guess we'll kind of see i i honestly don't know what to expect from this flavor since uh, it took a little research to figure out what I think it's called. I think it's called Smoky and Spicy CO. And I don't know what CO stands for or what that means, but that's what it seems to be. So we'll see. That's probably pretty much good now at this point. Like I said, there's like this olive oil packet that's on the top. So, as per tradition, 
we will do the final stir with the lightsaber chopsticks just to get it nice and stirred. And honestly, I would eat with the chopsticks, but I suck at eating with chopsticks. So I managed to mix most of the toppings to the bottom, but there's like some of the stuff. I think it looks like it's chicken and maybe some tofu, but I'm not actually sure. Um, but I'm gonna taste the soup and see how that is. So it's actually a pretty smooth with like a little hint of spiciness. Um, it's not too bad. I think it's kind of similar-ish to the spicy tonkatsu, but I think that one is actually still better. So, after eating some of it, it has more of like a, it has almost like an olive oil flavor. And it looks like there's little pieces of egg in here. I think that's what these yellow things are. Pretty sure that's what they are. And like maybe carrots or something. I'm not really sure. And... I think it's, there's like little scal scallops. I don't know, is this a... The thing that I thought was tofu, I think it's actually a potato. Like a very light potato. Um, I'll show you what it looks like again inside. Okay, and then I'm going to actually take this olive oil and put some of this olive oil in here. We'll see if that makes it any better. If I can even figure out how to open this. That's probably enough. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's like definitely olive oil. Because it's not the chili, uh, the chili oil. Last time, there was chili oil for the tomato chili one, and I did not like that. It was not, I, maybe some people like that, but I didn't like it. And it wasn't even that it was spicy or anything, it just, the chili oil, when I tried the spicy tonkatsu, honestly just made it worse. Like, it was better without it. I would say you kind of taste the olive oil a little bit, but I would I would it doesn't change the overall flavor that much. So it's it's like whatever if you want to put it in there or if you don't put it in there, it seems like it doesn't really matter that much. <laughs> Silicon dioxide was an anti-caking agent in food. That's hilarious. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the SIO is supposed to be. Um, let me try reading this other label on here. There's like a little, it's like a, like a pepper shaker thing, like a pepper grinder thing. Let's see what that one says. I don't think it really tastes like super smoky or anything. It's a pretty mild flavor. I would get it again. I would get this one over the tomato one. Um, the tomato chili was just me like the most mediocre cup of noodle. Like I would get it over the chicken cup of noodle, but I would not get it over the other flavors I've tried. Like it was just kind of mediocre. Let's see. So the Google Lens app is like the best. I can just point it. I can actually maybe show you on camera. I'll have to push this back a little. So I just click translate. 
And now we can see black pepper enhances taste, become an olive. <laughs> I feel like that's not correct, but. Smoked olive. Black pepper and basil chicken cup noodle. So black chicken, basil chicken. I mean, that pretty much describes the flavor for the most part. It's like a more mild, not quite a pasta, but almost there. Um, it's not, like I said, it's kind of falls under the mediocre category. Like it's still pretty good. And it's definitely better than a regular cup of noodle. And it's definitely better than the chili tomato, tomato chili. I would say, what I say the tomato chili was, like a 4.5. I would say this one's like a 5.5 if I'm comparing it against everything else. So far, the one that, that doesn't have a video, the spicy tonkatsu, is my favorite. And I think I gave that one like an 8.5. Um, the spicy red chili ramen, that one was pretty good. But I would avoid that one unless, like I said, unless you are good with spices. This one is not really spicy, so I think most people could eat this one. Like, it's got a little bit of a kick, but it's like, I don't know, two out of five if we're going to rate it. It doesn't even have the spiciness scale like the other spicy ones do, so they don't even consider it spicy. So, so we're down to six different flavors left um, until I can get the other flavor to review that. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty good. Um, I could recommend, like, if you are looking for, like, a more, uh, something more interesting, the regular cup of noodle, but with more, like, an olive oil basil chicken flavor, that's basically what this one is. So any questions? Got to make sure to get in the maximum slurping. Here, while we're here, I can show my, my Gundams since I know a couple of you are interested. I actually have also this Cybertruck and a Starship from SpaceX. And there is my... My America Gundam, and that's like my favorite uh, build that I've done, and it's like super easy. It's only ten dollars, and it's uh, like a beginner level Gundam, and that one's really good. And then the regular OG Gundam. I'm gonna be honest; I don't even remember what most of the names of these Gundams are. Um, there's Tondro from Demon Slayer, Moon Gundam. Um. Oh my gosh, what's this one? Musho, Musho Gundam? That's a high grade. Or no, that's a master grade. And most of the other ones are high grade. And here's some SD Gundam. And there's a Red Astray. And that one's also a master grade. And this one is actually the reverse Astray. So it's actually the same Gundam, but the colors are reversed. That one's a high grade. And then more SGs. I don't remember what the one behind it is called. Gundam Wing. Um, I like this purple one that I also forgot the name of. Oh, and there's another Gundam behind him that is from uh, Gundam Builders that you can't really see. There's Goku back there. And then I have also my Nintendo Shrine back here. It's kind of messy. I need to fix it. Got my 64 games. But yeah, so there's the Gundams. Put this. I got this little, uh, this webcam holder from Amazon. And um, I think it was like 25, 30 bucks. It's pretty good. You, It's just like one of those arms you can stick. You can stick your phone on it. 
or you can stick any camera on it that has a, ch a camera shoe. So like if you can screw it into a tripod, you can use this uh, this thing. The other thing I don't like is it's literally a giant clip that clips to your table instead of like a mount that screws onto your table. I wish I wish it was a mount instead because it gets a little wobbly at times and it's not as good as I would like it to be. But uh, I think for how cheap it was, it's pretty good. Well, um, I can't believe this stream was almost 25 minutes. I mean, we're approaching 22 minutes. I don't know that there is really anything else to talk about. Um, I'm excited to try the other cup noodles. I have tried the curry one before a long time ago, and I really like the curry one. I heard the cheese curry one is the best flavor. This other one, um, it's called um, Tom Yum Kyung, I think, something like that. This one's like a level three spiciness. It's supposed to be a little spicier. This one has shrimp in it, and it's like a... Oh my gosh, people are going to get mad if I get this wrong. I think it's Thai. I think it's a Thai soup. So I think that's what that one is. And... I actually don't know what this is. I think this is just a normal cup noodle, which I hope that it's a little bit better. I hope it's at least the cup noodle original or something more interesting because if it's just like a chicken cup noodle, that'll be kind of boring. And then, of course, the seafood. And um, I don't remember what the last one is. We'll see. What is it? We're going to have to use the magic of... Google Lens again. Google Lens is really helpful for this or like playing old school video games that are in Japanese. Oh, that one's just miso. <laughs> it's just miso ramen. So nothing too crazy. Okay, well, uh, I guess we're going to end it here since it seems like we're pretty much done. Um, like I said, I think these are sold out. I did leave the link in the description. You can look at them, and uh, you can probably find some of the other flavors. And we'll go for there. We'll see uh, who wins. So far, it's the spicy tonkatsu, and I need to go to the Asian market and get another one, hopefully, if there's not one there. That's going to suck because I don't want to have to buy a whole bunch of them online. I'll have to buy a whole pack if I do that. But I guess if I do that, I can give some away to uh, some friends or something, I guess. Okay. Well, um, thanks for tuning in and have a wonderful day.